there was a massive loss of life that's well documented in the psalm. But I think what a lot of people on the mainland, as they say, don't really understand is the level of sacrifice by the 36th Ulster Division um, was absolutely huge and has culturally turned into this other thing. And so it's very interesting to see how as um, sectarianism in Northern Ireland changes and as uh, the cultural identity of Protestant um, thinking changes and develops, it's about how the Battle of the Somme resonates today and what that says about here we are. I think it's a really moving play about young men and identity, geography, history, religion and sexuality. To me, it feels like a really contemporary play, particularly because of the inclusion of a character called Piper. And Piper is a kind of iconic anti-hero, really. He's really progressive. He's upper class. He's an artist. He joins uh, the rank and file. And the inclusion of him in that um, milieu is just is really explosive. And he feels like a really contemporary character, not least because of his, his sexuality. And it's great to see such a contemporary archetype in what's supposedly a historical drama. It's a realistic depiction of uh, homosexuality at the time. Well, the, the play contains a realistic depiction of that. And it's that and the conjunction with the blood sacrifice of the Protestants at that time, the camaraderie and confederacy of men in war is a really mysterious and heady mix. It's always going to be relevant. I think why young men get sent off or send themselves off to war is always pertinent in whatever culture. Who we are is always the greatest question that a theatre can, a piece of theatre can ask. Uh, this, this play asks it really thoroughly and really, really rigorously. Um, and with many laughs, I hope.